Hey guys, and welcome to Vienna, our fifth and final stop here on the five cities in five days challenge. All right, let's go. My students chose European cities that I should travel to this summer. Five cities in five days. I also challenged myself to complete five tasks in each city. Show an overrated tourist attraction, eat a traditional meal, choose a beautiful building, pick up a generic souvenir, and find a dragon. So let's get started here in Vienna. <laughs> That's from Aris. All right, luckily it's close, right? Yeah. Very close. Vienna, the vibrant capital of Austria, where music, art, and history intertwine. Once the home of the legendary Mozart and served as an influential hub for Beethoven's musical journey. This former seat of imperial power boasts a rich tapestry of grandeur and innovation, where every street corner whispers tales of greatness. So our first stop is to head up the St. Stephen's Cathedral, which is this really gigantic one. It's bigger than the one in Prague, actually. You can hear the bells going now. You really get some great views here kind of surrounds the modern part, and of course the old town here as well. And I love this roof. <laughs> it's been a busy and loud journey so far, so I'm really appreciating the peace and the view, and not really hearing too much up here. I approve. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Yes, I did. Behind me is one of the most important rulers in all of Austrian history, Maria Theresa. In her time as ruler, she doubled the Austrian forces, changed all the tax laws, and had 16 children, which is probably enough to get a statue built of yourself. However, I am naming this as the most overrated tourist attraction in Vienna. I just think there's way better things to see here. So we're gonna tick that one off, and I'm gonna go this way. That looks more like a snake. Three-headed dog. An eagle of some kind. That's a fish, but I think we have a dragon. All right, yes, it looks like it is a dragon. It's got three heads and it's got wings and claws. All right, let me prove it to you. All right. got the dragon. We can tick that one off. Cool. I asked for her recommendation and she said get the veal goulash, which is a really good Austrian dish. I've had something similar before, but let's see if it's a little bit different. Really excited. Also, I got a beer, as of course. Oh, and bad news. The apple strudel is sold out. No, God, please, no, no, no! So I'll have to find that somewhere else because I definitely want to try some of that. That is the goulash. It looks incredible. Now, beer. Cheers. I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, let's tick off the traditional meal. That was excellent, veal goulash. Now we need to go and get the bike because we have to go somewhere else. All right, we have just arrived. Okay, bike is locked up. And we have just arrived here at the Belvedere Palace. We're not here for probably what you think we're here for. No, there's something inside that I really want to see. I'm not an art enthusiast and I'm not one to go to museums to go and find a painting. However, the very first time I saw a picture of this painting, 
I knew I needed to see it with my very own eyes. Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. I wasn't expecting to come to Vienna. This is my first time here. And when I realized that Gustav Klimt artworks were all here, well, the majority of them are here, I, I had to do it. But we also ticked off something else while we were in there, the souvenirs. So we picked up Judith, we got Adele, the water serpents. Now these are all drink coasters. Of course, the classic, the kiss. All right, we can tick that one off our bucket list, meaning we only have one more to go. And time is kind of running out, so we should probably get a move on. Come to the conclusion that we're gonna to have to ditch the bike and go on foot. I think we can find something in this area. And these buildings behind me, not too bad, but it reminds me of Copenhagen a bit. And in Copenhagen, I chose something it just has to stand out from everything else around it. There's definitely something around here, I can feel it, but who knows where. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. My feet are aching, I wanna to go to sleep, I'm hungry. Let's just find something beautiful. I was not about to give up on this challenge, but I knew I needed something to speak to me. And that's when I came across this. I think we found it. Take a look at this. Today, above all, this is a place where millions of people from around the world become aware of their longing for a life in harmony. From here, they take new hope back to their homes, to their countries. It's a nice little message, and that's why it's the most beautiful building in Vienna. Take that one off. We did it. Yeah, we are done. Five cities, five days, all challenges. I am exhausted. All these little statues and see if we can. There it is, guys. The exit's this way. But if you can get up close, probably the best beer ever. To Prague. I just changed my togs. Okay, guys, we are done. Five cities in five days. Thanks so much for your suggestions. I still have all the cards here. It's my turn to choose now, but I think I need to relax. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, hey there, guys. I didn't see you. Right behind me. Oh, I can't even see myself.